Hey guys, Danielle Summerfield from uh, Summerfield Farms and Direct Horses. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hey, how are you? Welcome. I'm glad you came. Uh, please check out my other videos and you can subscribe. I only have a couple of subscribers and don't forget to click on the bell so you know exactly when I get um, more videos. But, so anyway, we run a little farm and uh, we've got draft horses here, which hence the name, Summerfield Farms and Draft Horses. Um, and we have a little company and what we do is we provide living photo props for you guys. So if you are having a wedding or an engagement or birthday party, sweet 16 birthdays, and you just want to do something like really weird, really well over the top, maybe you're having a midlife crisis, maybe you're turning 50, maybe you have a grandmother that's always been around horses but can't anymore. Um, we provide the horses for you and your photographer. So. Um, anyway, if you've seen the other videos, you know what our horses look like, and they're like way over there right now. So, um, today I am going to give Jarvis a bath. Uh, he is going to the vet tomorrow for his eye. He has a little problem with his eye. It hazes over in the, in the fall and in the spring. It weeps. It looks like moon eye, but it doesn't because it's not moon eye. So, um, I'm going to give him a bath and make sure that he's all nice and presentable for the vet tomorrow. <laughs> Go figure. Sorry, my husband's out here. He's coming on this side. So I want to show you some of the things that I use. I have everything all set up right here. Um, first thing is Bright White. I love this shampoo. It is amazing shampoo. Um, there's no top on it because it broke. I bought it from Chewy.com and it came and it was all broken and they were awesome. I love Chewy.com. They replaced it for free. It was amazing. So I just still use it. It's super thick, so it just kind of gloops out <laughs> on its own. So, uh, hold on a second. I've got somebody coming to bother me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, uh, apparently we have mower problems, so we'll get that fixed. That's another time. So anyway, that's the shampoo. And then I use um, Cowboy Magic Conditioner. This is awesome for their manes and their tails. It is just amazing. Mane and tail is really good too, but um, Cowboy Magic is just the bomb. And then, something that everybody needs to have in their arsenal is a genital and older udder cleaner. Yeah, you gotta clean down there too. So, this is really good. Equiderma, this is the type of fly spray I use, or one of the couple of types of fly spray I use and this company is really really good they use a lot of neem oil in their products and um, the stuff works really 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 good I really like it but you can also use like um, what does my vet use ivory dawn she uses dawn uh, you can use dawn in a sock clean everything out but it needs to be cleaned it has to be done so don't do it just once a year and then of course tea tree oil a hoof pick to keep the thrush away and I have these little gloves I absolutely love these gloves they are awesome they're really good at getting in, in there and making this all sudsy and stuff like that and it's good for grooming you can get in like all the little tiny spots with your fingers and stuff they're pretty awesome and the scraper a sponge for their face and then after you're all done again after you're all done Cowboy Magic, are you not surprised? Detangler and um, Shine. So I use this for his mane after I'm done. I put it in his mane and put it in his tail to detangle it and make it look all nice and pretty. Do not, and I'm going to stress, do not put this on any part where you are going to girth or cinch your horse or on the saddle area. It will make it very slippery. <laughs> your saddle will go all over the place. It won't stay put. Trust me, then they're done that, which is why I ride bareback now. So anyway, um, let's go get Jarvis and uh, let's get this party started. Okay, and I've got uh, Mr. Big White and Fluffy here, who is uh, really super sweaty. Oh my gosh, look at that, it's disgusting. It's all like, all his hair and he's like shedding. So it's like, it's just everywhere. So let's give him a quick bath. Well, I say quick, but it always takes about, for me, it takes two hours to give him a complete bath and dry. And a little bit longer if I have to plait his, his mane, but we're not going to do that today. So let's get you guys all tied up. Here, sweetheart. 
So can I do that here? Yeah. Or should we go to your spot? I think we'll go to your spot. You gonna check out all that stuff? Alright, so this is his spot. Hey, look at me. Okay, so <laughs> I'm caught. Don't wear your good jewelry while you're doing this. I don't even know why I'm wearing my good shirt while I'm doing this. I went out earlier and I did this, so um, I'm gonna give him a little brush down. I'll probably put it on, put this little video, then this next little bit on fast forward, so you don't have to watch me in real time to do this. Um, this takes forever. So anyway, let's uh, go get the hose and. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I got something to show you guys. Stuff. I got stuff. So, I bought... I went on to this website called um, horseloverswithaz.com and uh, they had some really good deals. They got some like really nice auctions. I got some show shirts and stuff like that for all this stuff. And um, against my better judgment, uh, I bought some fly sheets. Now, I usually don't use fly sheets, um, but if they're gonna be going to shows and so forth, uh, they're gonna have to look better and stay clean and not have bites and stuff like that on them. So I bought this one for Mr. D. Saxon. Love it. I have a blanket from Saxon that uh, my mom bought him before, but it looks like a little mini skirt. It's really tiny. Same color. And um, this is a really, really nice light fly sheet. And it's totally breathable. It's got, um, well, that doesn't look like it'll be that breathable. Come on, Mr. Dancy. Okay, so anyway, I'll take this out and I'll, really? And I'll show you guys later. But this is not for him. This is too small. This is uh, an 87, yeah, it's an 87, and that's what Darcy takes. And then I have, which, I have one of these coolers for him, but it's a little small. So I wrote to uh, horselovers.com about um, a bigger one, and this is an 87 too. This is, um, excuse me. Uh, one of those Irish knit coolers so this is really really nice nice it's got a great weight to it it's got really really nice piping on it very pretty ain't it pretty and um, look it's perfect I think that's perfect that'll keep the, the horse flies out of him yay <laughs> and maybe the gnats who knows but it's a really nice weave um, it's got a nice little padding on his withers and a front buckle, where is it? A front buckle closure. There it is. So I am really excited. Let's see if this just fits him really, really fast. Um, I'm gonna guess no. If I can do this with it, I'm gonna guess this is gonna be too small for him, but it might stretch, so it might actually work. But anyway, um, these are really good for trailering with him because he gets really super sweaty. So let's see, any other funky little buckles that I need to undo before I fling this over on him? Nope, okay. All right, dude, let's see if, hey, you wanna check this out? You wanna look at it? I'm gonna put this on your back, okay? Yeah, are you okay with that? Are you ready? Yeah, so. I just gotta see if this fits. I just wanna see if it fits. We're not gonna put it on. Well. there. 
already. A little high up on the withers, but that's okay. Yep. I think that'll work. I think that'll do the job. Um, I think it'll be okay. It shouldn't really be that far, but it really fits very well on his neck. I'm really impressed. Yep. Oh, and he's even showing off his butt. Perfect. I love it. <laughs> so I'm going to take that off him and, uh, don't poop. Don't poop. Don't poop. So we're going to use this afterwards. I got to go open the gate. Hold on. Be right back. Okay. So back what I was talking about. That's going to fit him really super well. So then I got him this fly sheet. This is from Equalus. And um, this is a 90. This is going to be really big. Um, so I don't know if it's going to be bigger than the other one. The other one's an 84. But this is a, a little bit different. It's um, got a really super, super light mesh to it. It's got no lining. So you guys can see, at least I can see you. Can you see right through it? <laughs> yes, you can. So um, it's got some really needle buckles. Oh, you don't need to see that. You really don't need to see that. Are you done? All right, let me go clean that up. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So now, okay, so I've got this. You guys have seen it. It's got the buckles and everything on it. I'll probably put this on them later. And the cool part about that, their company, they gave me this for free because I spent so much money. So it's a really kind of a neat little book. It's like a little kit. It's got a brush and again, a nice soft brush and a hard bristle brush and a comb and a scraper with um, the rubber end like this one it's like this one where it's got rubber here on it so it's like super flexible it's not like that harsh so, yeah you do and um, hold on one more time I gotta go get the gate okay so we got a whole bunch of things that's going on come on buddy I know things are scary Move your so anyway back to this again back I will finish this video I promise I'll get to it I know, I hear you. So anyway, it comes with all these and it has a little bucket that it's got like little holes and stuff you can put them on. So this is kind of cute. I might give this away to somebody because I don't need one. I have all the brushes. So without further ado, let's give him a bath. Let's uh, do this in slow-mo. Fast mode. No, not slow-mo. Oh my god, it would take forever. Fast mode.
time for the soap. Oh, <laughs> uh, thank you. Ugh, he's all brown on this one. I love it, it just peels right off. It just peels right off. Yuck. Hey, this is fun. All right, so I'm going to finish him up. I got to do the other side because it took this long to do one side. I haven't even done the other side, so um, just got myself all wet. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to finish him up and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, well, we're all clean. Give him a bath and uh, and uh, now we're going to squeegee him off. Now he's all squeegeed. Some people squeegee, some people don't. It's a personal preference. Um, I squeegee. But uh, I'm going to put that blanket on him as it's getting dark. I um, want him to dry off per fairly quickly. It's not cold or anything, but I do want him to dry off. And I know if I put him out in the pasture, he's going to roll. Um, so I want to dry off him as quickly as possible. Them pretty good. Look at you. No social, no horsey, anything. This is very nice. Good job. Very, very good. Good. Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna let him dry off for a little bit and uh, give him his dinner and uh, call it night. That's just the beginning. He's gonna dry. Normally, I would do his mane. I brush it all out, and it would be like the middle of the afternoon, nice and sunny, and everything would dry. But um, it's not. So I'm really liking this. <laughs> That's what he thinks about it. So uh, I'm really liking that blanket. I think I'm going to get one for Darcy. And um, it's really, really keeping the heat in. It's really good. All right. You guys have a great day. And uh, thanks for watching Summerfield Farms and Draft Horses.